This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is Luna, and this is the Blackmagic camera app. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why two of these things have very quickly become the new standard in mobile filmmaking. One of the most awesome and exciting developments in the tech world is when totally groundbreaking, disruptive tech comes from two different places and comes together to form something that's greater than the sum of its parts. And that thing is quickly taken up by the community and becomes the standard. And that's exactly what has happened practically overnight with the Blackmagic camera app and the new iPhone 15 Pro range. So why is that? Dramatic zoom. Let's find out. So the iPhone 15 Pro lineup have brought us some really significant new features. The obvious one being the USB-C port, which gives us the ability to actually record ProRes video to an external drive. The addition of a USB port on the new iPhone 15 Pro line is hugely significant because not only does it mean that we can record those ProRes files externally, but it also means we don't need to rely on AirDrop to move those enormous ProRes files from the phone to the computer or the iPad or whatever device you're using to edit them. There's the new lenses with the five times optical zoom. Yep, awesome new cameras, choice of 24, 35 or 28 mil for the main lens and a fantastic five times optical zoom that looks amazing. But come on, let's get to the exciting stuff. For me and a lot of other mobile filmmakers, okay, here it comes, mega dramatic zoom. The most significant new development on the 15 Pro lineup, here we go, is the ability to shoot in Apple Log. Boom! When using the native camera app, you can only use Apple Log when shooting in ProRes, and ProRes files are absolutely enormous. Now, obviously, you can manage the file size thing to a certain extent by using the external record feature, but you're not gonna need a format as high quality as ProRes for every project. And that's where the Blackmagic Camera app comes in. The Blackmagic Camera app allows us to shoot in Apple Log without having to use ProRes. In fact, it even lets us shoot Apple Log at H.265, which is the format that most people usually use to shoot iPhone video. And the results look incredible. So to enable Apple Log in the Blackmagic Camera app with different formats, you go down to Settings at the bottom right here, tap that, and then right at the top under the Record menu, it'll say Codec. And when you tap that, you'll see that you've got lots of different options. You've got ProRes 422, 422HQ, 422 Proxy, which is useful. You can even use Apple Log at H.265 and H.264. And we've actually got ProRes LT, which a lot of filmmakers asked for when the iPhone 15 Pros came out. Directly underneath that, we've got resolution and we can choose between 4K, HD, and 720. And below that is where we'll find the color space section. And at the bottom here, we've got the Apple Log. Using Apple Log, we've completely lost that telltale over sharpening, contrasty, slightly oversaturated, weird color thing that you usually associate with phone video. There's no more dynamic tone mapping. There's none of that nonsense. The results just look professional. So if you have any questions at all, ask me in the comments. I'd be really happy to answer anything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.